Hi, in this lesson we will learn the basic report button in Axis. I will start with blank database. I'm going to import one Excel file to a new table. I will make the ID as a primary key. Now I have one table with 741 staff member information. Now I'm going to create a report. This report will display all the information column review so everyone every staff member would has his own sheet now I'm going to create a form using form design and in this form I'm going to drop a combo box that display all the information from the ID now I need to filter this report instead of displaying all the information to display only the staff members selected from this combo box right now if i go to the property sheet from form design this combo box named is comp zero i'm going to change the name to something reasonable something like id list i am going to save this form as start form Now I'll go to the report in the design view. I will filter the report using data under the property sheet to include only the record if the ID is equal forms start ID list. Now if I select any staff member, let's say one one hundred 10, 7, 2. If I start the report, all this information is supposed to work. We have to set the report to filter on load. Now let's try again. Yeah, now it's working. Uh, if I select a different staff member, 1204, 1204. Now I need to include a button here to open the report. So from design, I will include a button. I will set a button action to open a report HR list. So now you can select any staff member and see his information. Now I need to add three buttons to this report. So I go to the design. I will drop three buttons, save, print, and close. I will choose a picture for each one. So from format picture, I will choose to the save. For the print, I will go to the picture and find the printer. And for exit, I will go to the picture and find exit door way. So I have three buttons. Of course, I can using a range to align them top I can resize all of them again I can align top and I can even make the space between them is equal now I have three button I need to open this report to see the button as long as I open the report in the report view which is a default view now I need to add the code for this button so from design event on click i'm going to type the code manually so this one is the output which will save the report so do cmd dot output to i need only the name of the report after i select the report comma name of my report is hr list as long as I didn't identify any information, every time the user will try to save the report, he will be asked to select. But we still have one problem. If, you try, if the user cancelled, he will get this error. So we need to add an error handler. So on error, go to, let's say, ARR for error. Now I am going to add the ARR handler, which is a message box something like operation failed 
So if the user canceled, he will get the new message. Now for the print, of again, using code builder, I'm going to use do cmd dot run command eccmd print print yeah this one again uh, as long as I didn't identify the printer the user will be asked to select the printer and if he cancelled he got the error so again I need to add an error handler we can use the same error handler so control C control V now we add the save and we add the print for the exit is, is a little bit easier as long as all we need to do is to do command do cmd uh, dot close uh, a report ac report and the report name is mm, again there's a comma before ac report so the report name is hr list you can see the comma here so if you forget the reminder tell you now this one will close the report and can select a different staff member and see the report. So that's it.